all right fam so we're out here it looks like we are taking delivery of the new car stick around so y'all can see what the new car looks like uh this is going to be the new uber what is it going to look like stick around to the end of the show you'll see situation uh and the choices choice between getting a new car or getting a certified pre-owned car or renting a car for uber or even buying a car straight out uh it, it was a hard one uh, especially in the financial situation we're in right now you know holly had her medical diagnosis uh, the channel is just now starting to get traction so it just wasn't the right time to go out and kind of make a, a, a big investment like this. But uh, either way, it was my job, so we have to do something. Uh, so we're gonna run over here, over here to this car lot, and we're gonna see if there's something that we can get because uh, I gotta get back to work. Yes, he does. Leave it in the comments. What do you think we should do? Do you think we should? just get a used car for four or five thousand do you think we should go finance a car and just buy a new one and say this is our make money mobile mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah or, or how do y'all think we should do it man y'all let us know leave it in the comments all right guys so we're pulling into the subaru dealership right now and i can't say that i really wanted a subaru but we're gonna just take a quick look Possibly, because they're probably, yeah, these are 2023s. Here's the 2024s right here. Yeah, so they're trying really? to dump the 2023s. Yep. That's, that's the ones that we're really trying to take a look at. Yeah. So you want to take a look at one of these uh, Subarus here? Yeah, let's take a look at these little SUVs over here. The 2023s. Ain't that? Everybody's just looking at your car. Like, damn, uh, is he going to trade that in? I think it's important for us to compare... Yes. cars so yes. let's go take a look see what we got all right from what we've seen in the subarus so far is they have a big screen you know we're getting older and we can't see very well we can't see so i well. do like the size of their screens their screens are large they are. um i do like that a lot you do not need a wrx passengers will love it if i pull it up to pick you up in the wrx <laughs> baby if this one is under 35 we're getting it this one Seven thirty-five. Just tell her to do the paper. Oh no, forty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I could have told you that. Oh, but look at the heaters. Premium, nice, premium yes. seats. The leather package. It's got. You know the thing about it is, man. Uh, you can't do leather with Uber passengers, man. They get in your car with be food. tearing your shit up. They slamming your doors. They don't give a damn. So it probably doesn't have the CVT transmission. It does. I bet you a hundred million dollars. Not time. all of them do. But with that three. Yep, it does. CVT with Xtronic. Yep. So, so this car is a real piece of crap. Daddy, daddy, y'all. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? It's going great. What's your name? Christy. Miss Christy, man. My name is Ant. How you doing? Yes, Everybody you calls you. me Uber Ants. Okay. I'm an Uber driver. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> it's 2021, 20, 28,000 miles. Okay. Yep. I love the size of these screens. That just means I'm being here watching porn all day. Oh, stop the it. Sorry. No. Don't, don't be that, that way. So that was very bad. inappropriate. <laughs> they do my cars bad. You uh, know what I don't want is like, uh, I don't want like uh, uh, yeah. anything that's easily ter terrible in the inside. Just that old, super thick, cheap plastic, old, super thick, cheap. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, the first thing I want to show you is going to actually be a cross track. It's going to get you decent gas mileage, a little bit bigger SUV, symmetrical all-wheel drive, going to get you anywhere you need to go in the snow. And it has the Subaru StarTech cloth in it, made out of polyurethane and recycled plastics. What that's going to mean is that it's super water resistant. So if people are spilling yeah, in the back and all that fast. stuff. She's talking fast, but she's talking facts. Facts. Okay. So she sounds like she might know her shit. She might know her shit. <laughs> all right, well, let's see if we can find uh, this car that she was discussing. So it looks like another customer just walked up to that vehicle. My cross tracks don't last long. The Any red car that I've cap. had, I've always wrecked them. That's the biggest gas <laughs> cap I've ever seen in my life. Guys, I got a fucking Dodge Charger. I've never seen gas. Like that. 
Oh, one more car? Oh, she's going to show up. Is that the WRX? Nope. Uh, we passed the WRX. I've seen that. <laughs> this one is brand new, so it would be a little bit of wiggle on, on being that 30 and under, but it's got the StarTex cloth. It has a full 11.6 inch screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You're going to have an updated sound system top of the line, Harman Kardon. That's what you we also have, have rear vents all the way to the second row, and then you're also going to have chargers in the back so all of your Uber customers are super comfortable. They have everything that they need back there. You don't have to run a cord from your console all the way back mm. to them, none of that stuff. Huge trunk space as well. Done. Looks can be deceiving just a little bit. Mm. Doesn't look as big from the outside, but huge trunk right, space. Right. Fit everything that you need. If you're ever running to the airport, things like that. People have luggage, bags, yeah. whatnot. Yeah, you got the uh, cover too. Yeah. Yep, cargo That I do there. like. That I do like. And with it being so a sport. give me your name one more time. Christy. Miss Christy, how can these people find you? Uh, I'm at Subaru of Pueblo. Subaru of Pueblo. And you can come see me for everything you need. Everything <laughs> you need in Subaru. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that last part was very impressive, guys. <laughs> Hey, not only did she slow us down for just a second, which that's important in sales, she showed us a really great product. It actually really did catch my attention. It's not that far off of our, let me back up, guys, back up. It's not that far off of the price we was looking at, and it probably would make a great little Uber car. So, it would. Uh, big kudos to Miss Stephanie, man. Christy. Miss Christy. <laughs> He's horrible with names, girl. He's horrible. Christy, man, hey, guess what? If you guys are in the market for a Subaru, man, Look at the inventory, guys. Oh my God, what did you think? Um, I think it's really freaking hot outside. It was so hot. Oh my God. Um, you drive they drive off a curb? No. Oh, thank God. Um, Whew. they do have some nice cars. Um, and I do like Subaru. Subaru is known for durability. If I bought a car, it would be simply because of Kristen. Uh, she was on her business. Uh, she, she was. Knew. She knew her stuff, man, and if you guys uh, decide to go take a look at a car, y'all might want to swing past and get um, But I'm car. not going to buy a car just because it was a cute little saleswoman. She, she was, was a person, yeah, but she and person. she did know her stuff. But, but she knew her stuff, and that's what I was, and I, I, was and I do about. appreciate that. All right, guys, so we're on the Ford lot right now. Uh, they got a pretty big selection. Here comes the salespeople. Of course, Grand Cherokee. Let's stop and see. Uh-oh. <laughs> you came to talk to us, huh? Yeah, I wanted to come say hi because I see the GoPro and the... <laughs> Look, hey, hey, fam. He thought because we was in a scat pack, yeah. we just came to steal some shit. <laughs> <laughs> but the other day my Uber got stole, so we got to replace the Uber, and we're looking for something to replace it with. We are going to hit all the lots over here. We're going to try to buy yeah. something today. It needs to be like the little... Uh, like piece of shit. Equinox yeah. or Equinox a RAV4 yeah. or something like that. Right, so uh, kids spilling room. drinks, pitting yeah. gum on your shit. I don't give a damn if they got room. I, I care if you guys got room. I care <laughs> a little bit. Mm, ah, but I got you. So something cheap, something good on gas. Uh, so that you're not out here in this heat, we're going to spin around in the air conditioning. We're going <laughs> to pick out... <laughs> We're gonna pick out the cars that we like. When you see us get out the car, man, come on, come on out and holler at us. That way okay. you can be in the air too, man. That makes sense. What was your name again? Connor. Connor, and this is Ford Alpine? Yeah, Alpine, Ford. Alpine Ford. Alpine Ford. Alpine Ford, people. We're gonna take a look around and see if we got something. Okay, fam, so we have a mic on mute this whole time. We did not know that. <laughs> All right, so this is the most disrespectful thing that a Dodge Charger owner could ever do. Y'all know what it is, boy. You don't want none. Oh! <laughs> Y'all don't want none, boy, man. Pick this motherfucker up. <laughs> All right, man. So, ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. All right, so we are back out here with my man, Connor. We talked to him about some of our needs, some of the necessities. You know you motherfuckers be super dirty in the back of my Uber, which... You guys be super dirty in the back of my Uber with all your stuff, so we needed something a little bit more practical, a little bit more gas efficient. Mr. Connor, tell us what we got. All right, you said warranty was pretty important to you. Obviously, if you're gonna be using this for work, the last thing you wanna do is have to pay for something when something goes wrong, right? So let's keep you protected while you're out there on the road. I wanna show you some of these Ford edges. So you're gonna get a three year, 36,000 bumper to bumper, a five year, 60,000 powertrain, five year roadside assistance, so flat tires, anything like that, you're covered. And I know that's kind of the length you're looking for, so what did these what did these go for on the base models? Forty ish, 
mid 40s, somewhere in that range. Okay. Hey, for a 2023. No, I mean they're brand new. Honestly, you go any make or model, you're not gonna find new cars that are really in the 30s anymore. Even on the right. base side of it, like. Um, I'm looking for more of a silver, yeah, like more of a gray, some, yeah. something that the dirt kind of blends in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, black's hard to keep clean. That's black like, is hard, and so is white. Sure. Um, now, I'm going to tell you guys, there is no way if I bought this, I would let you in my car. So, yeah. But it's an, it's an ST. That's why they wouldn't be able to get in the car. Wouldn't happen. Wouldn't happen. I do like the black. It looks slick, but God, it just I do. gets dirty that's, so What is that? What, 50, uh, 48? 48, that's, that's probably a good ballpark guess. Let's find out. 47.3. Ah, See, you were close, you baby. You must work at the Ford dealership. I do not work at a Ford dealership. <laughs> I am an Uber driver. I keep telling you people this. I'll pick this one out. So okay. I know the money is kind of a thing, too. You're using this for work, so this is an investment. This, this is, is work. A, right. Buying something, this is right? work. This is a 22. We've had this for a minute now. We do this thing. If you buy a new car with us and you're getting it serviced or anything like that, you got to get to work. You got a life to live. We put you in a loaner car. This was used in our part of our loaner service. That's why it's got a manager special sticker up. On oh, there. damn. Okay. So it might have somewhere between 3,000 and 9,000 miles. On okay. It. But check this out in the back. There's a little thing back here. Got hit with a shopping cart or something. A little rough going on in there. So the money on this is going to be screaming at you. We're going to give you whatever deal I have to. Well, I don't know if you're going to give me whatever deal, but I definitely like where you are going with this, Mr. Connor. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's run some numbers on this. Let's see what what is this. Uh, what do they got on the window, baby? 44. 44? Jeez. They got smacked, too. Yeah, they did. They got smack, smack. Damn it. Looks like a truck might have. They got the 44 on it. it. Oh, it was locked up. It's always there, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. I do like these though because they have the big screens, like the Subarus did. If you say one more thing about I a big like screen, I like the big screen. So I'm you half got blind. Eight big screen TVs at the house. You got exactly. A, There's a, a reason big for that. In the charger, you got a big screen in your glasses and your this glasses. This has on. a bigger screen. Let me see your charger. phone. Your phone got a big I don't screen on it. Oh. In the car. I do like it though. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. But uh, 44, because it's coming all loaded and everything like that, and I'm not even tripping off the ding. At all. Because the thing is going to be. that pulled. I'm not even, I wouldn't even waste my time with that. Uh, the ding is like part of the package, but if he comes out and says uh, 30,000, this car is driving home today. I he think just can't even do if that. he said 35. He's not going to do that. I'm thinking he's thinking uh, 42 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it got, like? it got more of the racing seats in it. Where it coddles you. Okay, guys. <clears throat> So this is what this is. This is a, what year is this? 22. This is a 2022 Ford something or another. Ford uh, Edge. Ford Edge. Edge. There we go. 2022 uh -huh. Ford Edge. Uh, looks like it had a few miles on it. it oh, it's still locked because he got the key. Uh, it looked like it had a few miles on it, maybe about 10,000 miles. But it also had this little ding in the back, which if you look right here, there's a, a little scuffage right there and if you pull it down there's a little itty bitty love tap right here which is not that bad uh, as far as the room in the back when we're doing uh flipping houses and stuff it would give us more room to transport stuff back and forth mm -hmm. uh, we would have room for cody that would be a good thing but it would not be a comfortable car to be in for it wouldn't be a comfortable car to be in for that one five right six hours a day. Okay. all um, right baby it's ultimately up to you you know what i wanted so you gotta fit this is kind of more in, into what you wanted though it is it um but you have to uber in it and you have to be comfortable because i'm not rubbing your damn back every night yes no kind not. of I'm a no. little bit just the lower don't part don't do it now why would i start <sighs> all right guys we got some more cars to look at we'll be back <laughs> All right, fam, we are back. We came over here to Chevy. We're trying to look at that. Uh, did you have a Chevy Equinox over here? A 20, what was, year was it? Mm, yep, that's right over here. All right, so they said they had a Chevy Equinox here. As y'all know, my fucking Uber was stolen, and we got to replace it. So we're going to see uh, if we can find something at a decent TikTok. fucking price. <laughs> I do got a TikTok. <laughs> Uber ants on TikTok, man. <laughs> tag Ryan. I don't know the rest of Ryan's tag, All but right, if he wants to, man, yeah. <laughs> it is a brand new unit, so it'll be pretty nice too. Comes with the factory warranty, everything like that. 
Right there. Why is that trunk open? Why is that trunk open? No, it's probably shoulder, huh? Oh, that's beautiful. There you go. All right, hey, baby, we're going to sneak back here tonight and grab some free car mats. I was going to say, I'll leave it open. For <laughs> <laughs> a little Malibu. Too, right? All right, so, uh, guys, the thing is, um, we're not trying to get into a five, six hundred dollar a month car payment. Y'all already know the situation with that. Uh, but it would be just as bad for us to turn around and throw four or five thousand uh, on a little used car. Oh, it looks like this one is it right here. Yes, sir. So this is a 2023 Equinox. It's all it's all wheel drive. And just so y'all know, we were just down the street. They were telling us they had one for twenty four thousand. Um, but it had thousand miles on it. How many? Seventy over seventy thousand. How many miles this got on there? This is gonna have about fifteen. F Okay, so what's the price on this one? It's gonna be brand new at 29,000. It is gonna come with the factory warranty as listed, and it is a brand new unit, all wheel drive LT, ready to rock for you, sir. What's the cheapest you can get this fucking car out the door for me right fucking now? Um, if I if I could get approved on my meager Uber salary, what is the <laughs> cheapest? Matter of fact, what is your name? Get the people a shout out. How can they get a hold of you? My name is Ryan Montoya, I work at Stylish Chevrolet. I've been here for two and a half years now. Okay. It'll be Ryan Montoya underscore, and that'll be on Instagram. That'll be there on Instagram, go. man. This is the guy to come check out, man. Uh, so, this is a Chevy for the Chevy gang. Y'all know I'm a Dodge guy, but we don't, <laughs> we don't. Uber, yeah, Ooh, we don't need to go out and play right now. What we need is a powertrain. We need to make sure the car is protected. We need full coverage insurance. And we need to think there's going to be a whole bunch of little kids in the back of this car with ice cream and freaking old ladies trying to finish their lasagna off and whatever else it is. I'll be right back with the keys, guys. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I like this car a lot better at the... Uh, I like this car a lot better to 29. What I don't like is this going to be 600 a month. Maybe. And that's that's if we get approved on it. Maybe. So is this the same car over here? No, this is a Buick. Here's a white Equinox. And then there's the black one. So it looks like they only got the two. But this one looks a little, a little older. That might be better for us. Maybe they got a certified one with a. So this is a 2023, mm -hmm. and it's listed at 31. Oh, I love the interior. The other one has the same interior. Has a little itty bitty small screen. Yeah, the screens are small. I don't like that, but. You don't like that part about it. Uh... So uh, monthly payment wise, they would probably get us in about 400. So, but you're. But over here is going to be about six fifty. That one is actually more than that one. Yeah, yeah. But this is the twenty three model though, right here. But I'm gonna keep it a hundred. He might have a car for a little bit cheaper. Maybe we should go the car route. Cause I'm just trying to. This is going to be strictly to work. Here, let me. All right, fam. Ah. This is the twenty twenty three Equinox. Twenty twenty four, baby. This is twenty twenty four. Yes, we were looking at the 20 we were looking at the 2023s no. this i showed you this one last night and told you it's 2024 for under thirty thousand. baby we can't afford a 2024 i it's told you that under thirty thousand. oh okay so this is a 2024 chevy equinox it's be cheaper than buying the 2023 over there right this there is their <laughs> this is their base model so it doesn't have any uh electric seats it does, can we get some air going let me see this That's thing let's start this thing up so this is no frills, Chevy Equinox. Connected by OnStar. We got all the USBs in here, parking brake, all wheel drive. Okay. Okay. You guys wanna take the first spin? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, let's take it for a spin. Yeah, I'll hop in the back seat. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. You know I'm a super picky dude. Out of all the cars we looked at today, this is the very first one that we took on a test ride. Real talk. 
Actually, let's see if we can't get some air circulating through here it's first. Oh, Jesus. So, so unlike the Scott, ooh, look at the Charger. Oh, the Challenger. Challenger. Uh, unlike the Scott Pack, we do not have the ventilated seats. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna have a, uh, It doesn't look like we're gonna have uh, the launch control. <laughs> or the inline one. lock. Okay, uh, I don't feel the paddle shifters yet. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we got some it's, radio here. It's not a charger. Okay. It's not a challenger. It's but not it feels, a scat pack. It feels good though. It's an Uber car. Why don't you pull a scat pack? I do every once in a while. Every once in a while, I pick somebody up just to scare the crap out of them. Costs too much of gas. Don't let nobody steal the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight. I want to show you my car. You see, like you're in the car. I am. Yes. I am. All right, fam. We're gonna take a short detour, man. On the right. That one's mine. Oh damn! We're going on the right. We're going over here, guys. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go in here. I'm sorry, this is part of the test drive. The passengers are demanding it. We want to see how it goes through the parking lot. Good okay, turn inch. swing around. Let's get a pick of that. He got that thing slammed. That Pull the window nice. down, oh man. Gosh, that that is like barely off the ground. Okay. Hey, so tell me about your car, man. Um, so I have it on a full air ride system, airlift three piece wheels, um, HREs wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Full bolt on, uh, full catless exhaust, running on E85. That's a 2013 Black Edition. Pushing right around 700 horsepower, all wheel drive. So sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That is very nice. He's like, you don't want to play, boy. You don't want to play. <laughs> I like that scat, though. Those are cool, man. He I'm would still lighter. challenge you in the scat. I oh, promise right, you. He'll take off because that car is lighter. <laughs> yeah. The, the scat packs up, especially the wide bodies have such an aggressive look to them, though. I yeah. Love them, man. That's that why we wanted. Nuts. I'm outside yeah. of the 6 4 man. We had to get the wide. I was gonna say, there's no other way. Mm -hmm. Those wide bodies look really and good. And we didn't, we didn't want to do a kit or we wanted it out of factory. I was gonna say, yep. especially have a factory spec, yep. and cut it, and it's all in the warranty. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys. So we got a lot of thinking to do. Um, I do like this one a lot. The other one got too. substantially more miles on it. Uh, we're going to see if we can't turn in some paperwork. We're going to see which one we get approved for. Uh, we also want to check one more lot before we before we make do final. before we make a final decision. Uh, but it's going to be the terms that determine. Uh, correct. Yeah, it looks I like, do like this one. It looks like we're leaning towards the Chevy Equinox. The differences between the two. The one down there, they want, I believe, twenty four thousand for. Mm -hmm. It has seventy thousand miles. Uh, no warranty, or we could pay for we some type of kind of janky whatever warranty yeah. they got down there. Um, this one is coming in at twenty nine nine nine, so right at thirty thousand. Uh, it's brand new right now. It has ten miles on the dash. So with that being said, warranty. It would be about another six thousand. My Ooh, tank is getting car. LW. So drop in the comments, guys. What would you do? Would you take the brand new car? Would you get the car with the 70,000 miles on there? Would you just take five grand and go to an auction and buy another car like we did with the Sonata? Oh, it's endless. We don't know what we're going to do. But stay tuned because we're going to go in here. We're going to fill out these paper, this paperwork. And we're going to tell you if Chevrolet Bradley, uh, this guy right here, proved us or not. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. But... We are here. We are here. So how much for the Z06, man? How much for the Z06? That one is 196, 681. That's it? <laughs> How many miles it got on it? About 92. Okay, we're done talking. He's tripping. So the good thing about buying cars, when they know that you're getting ready to spend a couple thousand dollars, a lot of times they'll have some amenities. Uh, so, oh, looky over here. Seems like we can get some free sodas, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this stuff. Yeah, that is perfect. 
So now since we finagle the soda out of them, let's go outside and take a look at this ZL1 and see what we think. Y'all see that ZL1 right there? A lot of people don't know about that ZL1, boy. That is a one. <laughs> you like that? Oh, I promise you, ZL1 the popo ain't catching me. I'm out of here. They got the heads up display on the dash, the carbon fiber. Woo. So just out of complete curiosity, how much is this goddamn car? All right, little mama, you ready to get back across the street and make a final decision? All right, let's do it. I don't, not when this car is a, a better. No, it's a better deal. I did like I did like it's the same car except this it's one's the just same a. Car, uh, but this one is a better deal. It's new. It has ten thousand miles on it, and it's only like five grand more. Well, we me, and see. we have the peace of mind. Of I will Hector. keep the license plates, though. You know that, right? Yeah, you keep them. Keep it clean Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, we keep her in the garage. I mean, just got the stickers on there, man. That's all it is. Pull them stickers off. And I can tell you, it ain't no, it ain't no fake wild body. This came from the factory. Like this, this is a real one. It got all the, uh, it got all the bells, all the whistles, the inline. Only thing we didn't get on this was the adaptive cruise control. And in hindsight, we probably should have got that. In hindsight, I called myself saving two grand. <laughs> Grand to keep that payment under a grand a month. Real shit. Now, that's because she, she told me I couldn't get it unless the car payment was under a thousand a month. Oh, man. I, man. Four. It was 1,004. And I was like, baby, please. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. But we got it. So, yo, we're going to go get a quick bite to eat. We're going to go uh, We're gonna go swing. We seen one of that Subaru. We haven't been over there. So we're probably going to be gone for about an hour. No, uh, we'll get that submitted in the meantime for you guys. Get your number. Get your answer on that vehicle. It's all right, Mr. Long. Ryan, you're in the lead right now, so we're going to see. Yes, sir. You definitely want to need them. We'll get that submitted over to the bank, guys. Uh, really appreciate you stepping in. And, uh, for sure. Uh, for sure, man. <laughs> all right, fam. So I found, I found the car that I really liked. He's, he's YouTube. Apparently, I can't get it. We don't know. So let's take a look at it, guys. Uh, this is a what? Cross track. Cross track. Subaru. Yes, we came back to see Mrs. Christie, right? Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Christie, we got it right this time. Um, I do like this car a lot, man. We're kind of negotiating on the price. What do you think? On is this one or the the? Equinox? I like this one. Um, for one, it's a Subaru. Subarus are known to be better. You can get a lot of mileage out of them. They're known to be more reliable. Hey, Miss Christie. Hey, fam. So this is uh, the car. Um, this is going to be a, what year is this one? 20, 21? 20. Uh, we'll see it on the sticker. Oh, this is a 2021. 2021 cross track. Uh, it is all wheel drive. It is the sports addiction. Uh, it is the sport edition. So it also has the paddles in there. It has the, uh, this isn't leather, but it's uh, like a stain resistant material. Good for Ubering. I love the carbon fiber inlays and I love the detail here with the uh, windows and stuff. So I definitely love that. Even these little STI stickers that they have in here to stop people from scratching when they go to get in the car. I like that. That's an aftermarket thing. But then when you come in, uh, and it's not a luxurious car, but it feels a little bit more luxurious than than the Equinox. So the thing about it is they're equivalent in price. Uh, you're talking about 2000 $2, more. Uh, I think this would be the better way to go. I'm thinking so. Um, it has a lot more upgrades than what the Equinox did, even though the Equinox was brand new. Um, yeah. But I do like the fact, and I'm sorry, I like the fact of the Subaru. I'm cool with that. 
I'm cool with that. Um, the only thing, like I said, the only thing that I don't like about this car compared to the other one is it doesn't have as much space in the back end. Yeah. Um, it's kind of small. Cody will fit back there, but he's not going to be very comfortable. At all. Uh, Ooh. Where's the little button back there? I mean, no. he'll fit. Back here somewhere. He'll fit. So this little cover actually comes over and sets in that slot. And I do like that to kind of keep it covered while people are back here, uh, while I'm driving so people can't reach in my trunk. But then we could just kind of unlock that, have Cody hop up in here. Right. And it has the, the, I forgot what they're called. But the biggest thing is you can stop and- Put the seats down. Yeah, push them seats forward, lay this thing down. But this doesn't come out. That bar is kind of stuck in there. That's, uh, if we're trying to haul nice. some stuff, that could be a bad thing. There's a screw here. You can, no, I think Because it's showing arrows here. Oh, so you're saying so you just slide it. It might slide. Oh, yep, yeah. there it goes. There it goes, right yep, there. There it is, so I take it out. All right. So, um, like I said, we do actually really like this car. She doesn't want to give us this car for the 30. We wanted to get it for 29. Uh, she's not trying to hear it. So, <laughs> I, I do love the paddles. That's just because you're used to them in the charger. I'm used to them, I'm used to them in the charger. Uh, and I do like the screen a little bit. I wish they had the big screen like the other Subarus did. We have yet to see the stereo though. Oh, we don't got a key in the car. You got the key? Alternator. <laughs> and other stuff. And other stuff. <laughs> that is the alternator. I don't like this little plastic piece they put here for no apparent reason other than to put it there. Yeah, but they could have put a whole cover over it. Yeah. I don't I don't like that. Uh, I do like the fact the oil filter's right there, right there on the top. Everything that looks like is on the top. All I see is tops. A lot of tops. Oil gauge. Oh, that one's okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm hungry, so we got to see. All right, let's go get the cars. Let's go get the uh, car keys. Let's ride over here, grab us a burrito so we can eat. They could do all the paperwork while we eat, man. We don't. They don't need us here for that. Real talk. Yeah. What you doing, Holly? Buying a car. Buying another car. It's kind of what we do these days. <laughs> Why are you buying a car this time? Well, because your Uber got stolen. Okay, oh, man. And then we have to, you gotta work. <laughs> you gotta work. So everybody out there, YouTube land, I need y'all to hop out there and run around and find my freaking. What kind of car was that? It was a 2014. A 2014. Hyundai Sonata. Hyundai GLS. GLS Sonata. Go get my shit, please. Presented this vehicle to the best of our knowledge. There's no open recalls that would have shown on the Carfax. Um, that there is no known damage or anything like that and we've given you all the history that we have if there was any recalls or anything we would put those in here okay, okay so do i sign buyer or co-buyer you're gonna be co-buyer he's gonna be buyer so what made you choose to buy a car from here because she was sweet because <laughs> it was the best deal it was the best deal it was the best um deal. for the amount of car that we got for the price um it was the best deal. i got to sign yes. i mean i kind of liked it when y'all said i was sweet <laughs> well, she is, and she's very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Um, I give you props for that. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. All right, so fam, we do appreciate y'all coming through. We hope that you like the new car that we just got. Uh, as always, make sure you like this video. Make sure to share it with people who like videos like this. Real talk. That's how you grow. I don't care how many times you like it, man. Share the damn video. Share. It. <laughs> and until next week, like we always say, let's get it. <clears throat>